create database from model using entity framework core code first approach my name is Shankar Shwaryani and welcome to coding friday now with the title you must have some idea what my requirement is but let me give you one minute of overview what exactly i want to achieve so i have some uh, c sharp uh, models with me i want to generate i want to generate the database based on those models but having all the constraints so any constraint like primary key foreign key or the or like unique constraint not null constraint string length anything so whatever constraint i have in my models i want to uh, generate the database having those constraints so this is my simplest uh, sorry this is my simplest requirement now to achieve this i'll talk about three approaches three main approaches at first i'll configure your system for the code first approach and we'll run the application at the startup we'll do some configuration and we'll run the application by running the application your database will be created automatically that's the approach number one second is uh, we'll make use of the migration commands so in that you do not need to run the application rather by running those commands you will be able to generate the database that's the second approach and the third approach is we will uh, you know actually remove the data annotation from the tables rather we will use the entity configurations so how this work we'll see in a bit and that is the most recommended way of uh, doing these things so let's start okay before even start the code is already available at the github you can directly clone the code but uh, in this process in this video steps are really actually sequence of steps are really important so i would highly recommend to follow this video in order to have everything correct so let's open first of all our visual studio and let's create a new project asp.net core application click on next ef core code first and provide the path so for that i'm going to provide this path click on create and then select the api one click create so it will create the empty solution for you so these are the number of steps as i said there will be three approaches i'll talk about this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one so these are the three new get uh, so these are the three new get packages which you should install at first so go to this tools and manage console so set it to 200 so that everything is visible to you now run the first command install package microsoft entity framework core sql server press enter now meanwhile it install the package for you let me copy another one yeah this is how we can utilize our time at least few seconds and then this is the third one hope it should work fine as well okay great so just to make sure go to this dependency go to this package and yeah these are the three packages which we have just installed now what next create models now just to save the time or just to add them directly i have some code already so this 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 is going to be your developer model don't worry about the code this is the simplest ever model if you are in a working in a c-sharp project so don't worry about that so go to this add and folder uh, create folder view models and inside that let's create a class called developer so that is my first class okay can you go back to 100 percent so that my audience can see you okay now just press the control dot now you already have the new get packages with you so everything should be fine by just adding the namespace wherever wherever it says the error just press the control dot and everything will be gone and we'll talk about this model but before the before that let me create another model as well so there are two models i'm making use of this and uh, these are the two tables i would be expecting in a bit so this is the country one paste it here and you know what you have to do yes you are very smart so yeah one more place so simply i have two classes right now with me one is the country one which has country id that is the foreign key one, oh sorry primary key one that's the name of the country and the population of the country uh, and that's in 64 and then this is the developer developer one developer id the first name which is pronounced as a developer name into the into the database yeah 
then it has a skills and it has the country id that is more important foreign key country id so we are done we have created two models now the third thing uh, which you have to do you have to create the context class context class what is a context class which inherits from any db context so again let's take help of this get of code which is of course mine one so copy this class developer db context and create anywhere but just for the rough structure uh, let's create a data layer because this is a part of the data layer and inside that you can create another class and you can name it developer db context dot cs paste it here as i said the one thing which it has to do or it must do which is inherit from this db context now it is inheriting from the db context and after that just import the namespaces of the your classes so what it is saying it's saying that create these two tables developer one and the country one that's that's all now let's go back to our steps create db context create provide the connection of string of course you have to provide the connection string and for that go to this app setting so connection string of your sql server database i'll be providing the local connection string of my sql server so i'm going to the app setting and paste it here nice so this is my data source name and then the database name let's see fresh don't worry <laughs> the database will not be here right now so that's not the magic and then uh, let's go to the fourth step sorry uh, add startup configuration yes this is the step after which you can expect the database over there so startup file go to this startup file and go back to the github one and say or ask for these lines of code what exactly they are we'll see so again it is nothing it is saying which db context do you have i have this developer db context so what db context contains it contains the two tables what these table contains these table contains these property what these properties contain these properties constraint country sorry contains these constraints so this is how the sequence works and okay still error control dot so thanks to this control dot and developer database the has to be the same one yeah this one so that's all and after this this is the approach this is the first approach in what you will ask to create the database when the application is running so that's all done i have not built i directly started the solution hoping that the configurations are correct it should be up and running so while executing the application this ensure created will ensure whether the database is exists or not if the database is not exist it will create else it will skip this step so let's wait for a couple of seconds so that this application loads completes <sighs> sometimes it takes time five four three two one oh still it is taking longer than i expected meanwhile 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 i don't have anything oh thank you so go to your sql server database and press the refresh you should have the database configuration you have the developer db now i am more interested in watching the keys so you can see we have the all the columns country name and the population i said in 64 that's why it is begin so you can see we have all the constraint not null the nvrk 50 skills 500 we have added from here you can see 50 500 nice and the keys which is more interesting we have this primary key and we have this foreign key of the country one just click on the delete button just oh oh i should have checked this clause go oh, sorry close existing connection and meanwhile i can do this one so now i'm moving to my second approach remove this database creation we do not need this remove this one as well nice and remove the database as well let's see welcomes with the error now delete this now see do we have the database no we don't have nice so okay uh, what's the issue with you okay i have to stop the application and done now let's move to our second approach demo with running application i have given you the demo remove the database and startup entry yes we have removed the database in the startup entry enable migration and then run this command 
so enable migration is somewhat sometimes required and sometimes not so let's see in you get package package console select your uh, project and package source so right now it's all so paste it here add migration developer migration so you can name it anything and we'll see what exactly it is press the enter button so build started it just wants to make sure everything is correct okay so now you have to shift it here because i want to show something special the migration you can see the migration script is uh, sorry about that the migration scripts are already added here and it is saying that the create table the country one create uh, it has the primary key it has the developer table it should have the foreign key and the index and that's the down one down means uh, whenever you run the commands it will uh, first drop the tables if you want to and at there is a two actually methods up one and the down one down one up has the definition for creation of the tables and down has a definition for removing those one that's the simplest one so once you have uh, done this go to package console once again and run a, another command which is the update database now press enter it will start the build build is succeeded and now if you have configured everything correctly it will create the database in the sql server once again you will not see any differences in the tables but you have seen the difference in the approach so just refresh this developer db we have these tables yes and we have the keys and columns everything fine so now uh, what's the third approach okay for the third approach let's once again delete the database this time i remember to check that checkbox this 101 okay now uh, you have seen that in the in the in the in the developer one or in the country one we have this data and annotations maybe we don't need them right now let me remove this this is simple properties in the developer one let it be in the country one but in the developer one next uh, open your db context file where is db context file or maybe you can remove this migration folder as well remove this migration as well we will regenerate the migration this is your developer db context and it has one method db context has one method on model creating so you have to override override this method method and provide the developer entity configuration which i said that exists in the third approach so where is my developer entity configuration dot cs just copy the class back here add another class Press enter, paste this, and press control dot wherever required, control dot to get the model, and again control dot. Now, what's this? So, I'll go to this country one. This is one way with which you are achieving the same requirement, the data annotation. Now, uh, you have removed this, rather you are using this configuration file and inside that you, are, you have number of number of methods available or properties available. So the first one is like you're saying this is my developer ID and make it identity column. Also, you can specify the uh, length as well, like you have, have you want to start from one or two index or third index, you can customize this as well. So that's another uh, benefit is ignore. Sometimes in your view model, you might have 15 properties out of which some of them are custom for your UI only. So you don't want them to be created in the database. Right now we have seen that there was nothing such called uh, functionality called in this one. So we were able to generate the skills column in the database as well. But this time I want to skip this. So this we have this ignore. Similarly, we can set the max length to 50 is required property. And this is the way I can set this the sorry the prime uh, foreign key so similarly if you work on this or see the documentation you will find number of ways and easily you can configure these here so these are the some default one so after uh, once you've done complete this you have to go to your db context class and override this method and provide this developer entry configurations now after this just verify i am at the right place so have the demo remove the data notion update db context create event configuration database delete the migration we have deleted the migration then add migration once again so come back 
tools package manage consoler set it to 200 once again and cls now i will uh, create the add migration once again add migration developer de uh, developer db migration you can name it anything so once it is created you can create the update database command right now we don't have any database you can see this right until we have this done here okay it has done now click on this refresh we should have the data yes we have and the tables the most interesting uh, scene i want to show you guys the columns you can see we do not have the skills column uh, right now even though we have this in developer mode yeah this one so that's the benefit of the third approach and the keys again exist the way we added in the first approach so this is how uh, you can uh, achieve the requirement if you like the video please subscribe this channel and please share your comments with me your comments are really important for me uh, thank you for watching this video thank you for uh, being at coding friday see you next